This is a thin section which shows skeletal grains or bioclasts and it is a sedimentary rock. Under plain polarised light, the skeletal grains are shells of different types. It is easy to see their outlines because they are colourless and are surrounded by areas with a darker brown colour. These dark areas are very fine carbonate mud or micrite. Micrite is less than 62 microns in size and they are little grains of calcium carbonate. Note that there are darker rims on the outer margins of the larger shell. These rims are also made of micrite. Many of the skeletal grains are unbroken. These bioclasts are composed of a colourless mineral which has moderately high relief. This mineral is calcite and it's possible to see the outlines of the sparry calcite crystals even under plain polarised light. Under cross polars, the calcite is identified by its very high up to 7th order interference colours, its rhombohedral cleavage and multiple twinning. The interference colours are delicate pastel shades of pink and brown. When in extinction, the calcite doesn't go completely black, but it shows a fine speckling. No internal structure is shown in these skeletal remains. The shell was originally made of a form of calcium carbonate called aragonite. This was dissolved out and the void filled with calcite, which is another form of calcium carbonate. These interlocking crystals of calcite are described as druzy sparite. The crystals show an increase in size from the outer edge towards the middle of the larger bioclasts. In summary, this sedimentary rock is a limestone. It is composed of skeletal grains, largely composed now of sparry calcite. These skeletal grains are a mixture of gastropod and bivalve shells. These are infilled with carbonate mud or micrite, and the spaces between the skeletal grains are also composed of micrite. Many of the skeletal grains are unbroken, it is a bioclastic limestone. This rock would be called biomicrite under Folk's classification system. This is because it's composed of bioclasts in a micrite ma matrix. Under the Dunham classification of limestones, it would be named packstone. This is because it contains mud, but it is grain supported. That means the bioclasts touch each other.